In our today's video, we're diving into one of the finest homemade aircraft Africa has ever seen. You've heard of backyard built planes that look like they were assembled with chewing gum and optimism. You've seen flying machines that make you wonder if the creator has beef with gravity. But Skyboy? Oh, this one's different. Right now, at this current stage, it can fly. Crafted by Innocent Mugabe, the CEO and founder of Skyboy Aircraft. This isn't just any other jumbled mess of metal and misplaced ambition. It's sleek, it's structured, and, dare I say, it actually resembles a real aircraft. In short, this might just be Africa's most promising DIY plane, but don't get too comfortable yet. Look, when most people decide to build an aircraft, they do one of two things go to an aviation school and study for years, or wake up one morning and say, I'm doing this. Usually, the second group ends up making something that looks like a death trap. But Mugabe, he had a plan. A book to be precise. That's right. Unlike other inventors who rely on hope, faith, and occasional duct tape miracle, he actually followed aviation plans. It's like the difference between baking with an actual recipe and just throwing flour into a bowl and hoping it turns into cake. Most homemade planes have the unfortunate look of something that escaped from a scrapyard. The metal is rough, the welding looks like someone was learning on the job, and in some tragic cases, you'll even find wood where no wood should be. Skyboy? Nah, this is premium stuff. Mugabe has also not installed a computer in his aircraft and all the tests are tentatively being done through an external computer. Mugabe built the body using carbon fiber, a material known for being strong, lightweight, and most importantly, not likely to fall apart mid-flight. This thing has shape, a defined cockpit, a structured fuselage, and a kind of sleekness that makes you think, wait, did an actual company make this? Nope. Just one determined Ugandan with a vision. One thing I've learned from watching homemade aircraft is that comfort is optional. Many of these machines have metal seats that look like they belong in a torture chamber rather than a cockpit. Some don't even bother with seats at all, just a plank, a cushion if you're lucky, and a whole lot of faith. But Skyboy respects the human spine. Mugabe actually installed cushion seats because he understands that pilots are people too. But don't get too cozy. The seat belts on this thing look like something straight out of a fighter jet. Mugabe is strapped in so tight, you'd think he was about to enter a dogfight with an enemy aircraft. If nothing else, it's not going anywhere. Current stage, can it fly? Right now, at this current stage, it can fly, but uh, Many things are missing on it, so it's not safe to just take it out because uh, they are like onto its body, like the skin is not yet finished, mainly onto the wings and the vertical stabilizer. Now, here's where things get interesting. We don't have exact details on what engine is powering Skyboy, but one thing's for sure. It's not the usual motorbike engine that so many other DIY planes rely on. The description of what is here, this is uh, the engine, it's a two-piston engine, it's an uh, electrostat, that's why you see it's having a battery and an electric starter on it, that means you can start it automatically inside without uh, rolling the propeller, and then 
right now this is uh, the gravitational pull tank it's not the permanent one but it uses gravity and then this here is the propeller and this is the spinner that is being run by the engine and like others who take an engine from a 10 horsepower street bike and play it defines physics Mugabe imported some parts for his aircraft that means this plane actually has a shot at taking flight without immediately filing for early retirement. Gabi, the lead innovator on this project, throws around aviation terminologies and jargons with ease, and one might easily mistake him for an aeronautic engineer. Now, uh, this is our interior of the Skyboy, and this is the pilot control panel and instrumentation. Right now, what we have, uh, we have the airspeed indicator. Yes. I've seen some cockpits in African homemade planes that look like a mad scientist field experiment. Wires hanging loose, switches that probably do something, and a dashboard that looks more like a confusing puzzle than an actual control panel. But Skyboy, it's clean, it's organized. It actually looks like a cockpit, not a tangled mess of electrical spaghetti. That alone is worth serious respect. The difference between Skyboy and other amateur builders who have been making planes around. First, before we were doing its design, we first looked at why many Africans have failed in making successful aircrafts. That's uh, to say the aerodynamics, that's one point you can't miss out. The weight and uh, the materials they use. At the end of the day, Skebo is a masterpiece in the world of homemade aircrafts. Sure. It's not rolling out of a Boeing factory anytime soon. But let's be real, compared to some of the death traps that we've seen, this thing is actually first class experience. Innocent Mugabe has done what many wouldn't even dare attempt. He built a plane. Not just any plane, but one that actually looks like it belongs in the sky. With its carbon fiber body, proper planning, imported parts, and an actual cockpit that won't electrocute you, this aircraft is a serious step forward. Would you fly in it? That's the million dollar question. But one thing's for sure, if the future of homemade aviation looks like this, Uganda might just be onto something big. So. The next time someone tells you your dreams can't take flight, tell them about Skyboy and tell them to start studying because Mugabe didn't just build a plane, he built hope.